Hi, thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to make a really simple yet beautiful card um, using the Simply Elegant Suite. Um, this is new to the new catalog that be just began in May. Um, so it will use this stamp set. It will use the uh, beautiful Design a Series paper. This is specialty paper. Um, there's several beautiful sheets in here. Um, one side has some foiling and the other side has um, just some regular patterns. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous and I don't think um, a video could really do them justice. Um, so just very really quickly showing you um, what these patterns are. So, and then we'll also use um, some of the, um, what's it called? Trim, the Simply Elegant Trim that comes with it and the punch that comes with it as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I am using Mary Merlot. I'm going to fold this in half. This is just a half sheet of cardstock. Remember that any um, dimensions for my stuff is listed in the description below, as well as on my blog. And the um, link for that will, is below as well. Um, then I took um, the pattern paper that looks like this. It's um, very vanilla and basic gray, I believe. And then I have a... Uh, very vanilla panel for my inside and I have a scrap which I've already kind of stamped on but that's okay because it's just a scrap piece of very vanilla again dimensions will be listed below so I'm going to start um, with my all my stamping so I'm going to use um, first this long stamp here then I'm going to use this little stamp almost looks like a half a butterfly um, that's what it reminds me of. I'm going to use the thank you and I'm going to use all the things you do are simply amazing. So I, in Mary Merlot, on my Mary Merlot, so we have um, tone on tone. I'm going to stamp the long stamp on the long sides of my card. It does not fit completely. It'll be a little short. You'll see that in just a moment. So it does not go completely end to end, and that's all right with me. I, I like the way it came out, so that's what we're doing. And I'm really sorry for that beeping. Um, I actually have my phone on Do Not Disturb. However, it will not um, allow that particular beeping to go away. That is a beep that lets me know that my diabetic son has low blood sugar. Don't worry, my husband is taking care of it. But it will go off, probably it can. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, um, I did the stamping on that. And now I'm going to stamp on my little scrap. And on my scrap um, here in Mary Merlot, I'm going to stamp all the things you do are simply amazing. Now I will say, I, as you can see, I tried this like, three, four, five times and kept getting it crooked. So this particular stamp, I'm, I don't know why, I'm just really struggling to have it be straight. Um, so I don't have any tips or tricks for you um, at this time because I'm still figuring it out myself. Oh, I did it, yay. <laughs> I'm not even sure how, but I did it. All right, so there's that piece. Now what I'm gonna do is set that aside and I'm gonna stamp on my inner panel. And on my inner panel, I'm going to take that long strip that we used with Mary Merlot. And I'm going to do the same and um, stamp the edges. And then I'm going to stamp thank you in the center here. And I'm gonna stamp the thank you in basic gray. I'm 
just gonna make sure that my gray is coming off all right you know what i'm not sure if i want to use my basic gray i might use gray granite let me see what the gray granite looks like no oh, it looks really red and i'm not sure i did wipe my stamp but i'm gonna wipe it again real quick and see if that might be the issue because it shouldn't look red to me all right we'll try the basic gray again mm. all right I mean, that was gray granite. I'm gonna stick with the basic gray, I guess. So here we go. Here's the basic gray. I'm going to stamp thank you in the center. Make sure I have it kind of centered. There. And then I'm going to take that little butterfly-like looking piece that I said, it looked kind of like one butterfly wing. It kind of actually um, goes with some of these designs you can see off the um paper and i'm just going to do one in each corner of this thank you and this is for the inside of my card and i don't normally do that much on my inside but i really liked the way that it looked when i was playing around so i decided hey what you know that's what i'm doing <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and adhere this to the inside using my seal. Then I'm going to adhere this piece of pattern paper on the front and I have it longer than my card. Um, I decided to do it that way so that I can just trim off the excess. I'm going to put it in the center, lined right up to the bottom. And then I can just take my snips and trim that right down. There we go. Now, this piece that we had previously stamped, this is all the things you do are amazing. I'm going to take my punch that matches, that goes with this set, and I'm going to punch um, this out. Is this the one that I stamped? Yes, it is. All right. And then I'm going to put it in there and it's not the same size um, width wise as the stamp. I didn't want it to be that wide. So I just need to line it up as center as I can. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. And once I believe I have it fairly centered, I will go ahead and punch it. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back and where did my dimensionals go I'm not sure I was using the minis oh here they are put a good amount of dimensionals on here and then I will adhere that to the front of my card. And then I'm gonna use the silver trim that came with the set just to give it a little bit of something. And there we go, the silver trim. I'm just gonna weave in to that little middle space on that little nook there. And then I'm going to tie a bow. If you know anything about me, you know that me and bow tying do not go well. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. So here we go. We will tie this bow on here. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Goal. Ah, yes. Now all I need to do is just make these loops smaller. I don't want them that big. Once I have them 
where I want them. I will trim um, the tails. And then I'm going to, just for a little bit of security, because this trim um, I've noticed seems to come undone a little bit easily. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's like that for everybody. Again, I just stink at bows. Um, I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm just going to stick it behind that knot to help hold it in place and hopefully help it help it hopefully help it wow i can't talk today hopefully help it to not come undone and i probably would have stamped that a little bit higher um i didn't really think about it but you can see with my first one that i stamped it higher i also on this one had um put some of the mary Marlowe on the sides um but i decide not to with this one. Oh, and one last thing that I forgot. Oh, Wink of Stella. So I'm going to put my clear Wink of Stella on here and I'm just going to uh, do some smacking with it and make sure that I've got enough ink on here. Oh, wow. That way too much came out. All right. I may regret that. <laughs> Let's find out. And that is quite a bit, but that's all right. I'm okay with that. I, I like the way it looks, so it's fine with me. Actually, this isn't my clear, is it? I think this might be the gold. Um, You might want to use clear. I think I might have grabbed the wrong one. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Point is, it's now shimmery, and um, it just added a little bit to it. Um, this one has less shimmer, but you can definitely really see the shimmer, and I kind of like that one better. I just got too much with this one. But anyways, um, hopefully, oh, hopefully you can see that. That is my card, and I really like it. I like the dark color. Um, I usually go for lighter, brighter, brighter colors, but I just actually was driving home, and I was like, hmm, I think I really want to use Mary Merlot, and so I did. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, as always, I would really appreciate your business. You can find the shop link um, in my description below and on my blog. Um, links for the items that I used are also below. Um, and if you do not have a demonstrator and you're looking for one and you need a catalog or anything like that, please contact me. I'd love to help you out. Thanks. See you next time.